This is Dr. Kevin of I Associates of South Texas showing you a case that was sent to me last week of corneal trauma. This is a patient who was working with a nail gun, and this is how he looked when I first saw him in the slit lamp. You can see there is a opacity centrally in the cornea, and you can see how shallow the anterior chamber is. If we put a slit beam across the cornea and the iris, you usually you see a space between the two. In this case, the iris is right up against the cornea. This makes us suspicious that there is an opening in the cornea, uh, likely this area that we're looking at here. We can see the depth is just very shallow. If we look at the fellow eye, we can see that the anterior chamber, there's a space between the iris, the colored part of the eye, and the cornea. And going back to the injured eye, we can see how narrow it is here again. The way to test for an opening in the cornea is to place fluorescein, a colored dye, on the cornea and then to watch that area that we are suspicious of and see if uh, fluid leaks through that corneal opening and that's a CDL test. We can see here again, I'll get the patient to blink and close his eye, this diffuses the fluorescein and then watch this area carefully and you can see a little waterfall there starting and that's aqueous coming out of the front part of the eye uh, showing you leakage of fluid. This of course needs surgical repair.